Now let's take a look at some of the more advanced things you can do with a timesheet. Let's start by marking somebody absent or marking somebody late. So if a crew member's been late or if somebody's absent for your crew, you wanna keep that on record. In order to mark somebody absent or late, the people button is down here. You're gonna to wanna to click that. That's gonna show you the people that are currently on your timesheet. Let's start by showing you how to mark somebody as late. This is my crew, and I notice everybody is set for no lunch and not late and not absent. In order to mark Brent as late, I'm just gonna click him, and then it's gonna say, did he take lunch? Was he late? Was he absent? I'm gonna say, yes, he was late. So all I need to do is press the late rectangle, and it'll turn green, and that means it's late. Then it asks me how many minutes was he late. Let's say he was 15 minutes late, and then it asks for a reason. I'll put in car trouble. When you're done, hit save. Now it says Brent was 15 minutes late. The office will get that information and keep track of it for HR purposes. Now if somebody was absent, we're gonna do a very similar process. Starting from your timesheet screen, click the people button again. To mark somebody as absent, you're gonna click the little button with a head and a minus sign beside it. That's the absent button. Now it asks who is absent and what's the reason. So let's say Steve was absent today. His reason, it was a vacation day for him. Now I'm gonna click save. Steve now shows up on here as being absent from my crew. So if somebody calls in late or calls in absent, Use the Manage People button to set that in your timesheet so that your office has a record of who is late and who is absent and how many times. Now let's look at how to edit a task. What happens if I made a mistake on the mulching task? Let's say I forgot to clock in at the right time. And when we did clock in, it was way later than what it actually was. Here's how to edit a task. First, click the header and drop down the two employees. If Sam started at 2, or says he started at 2, but he really started at 11, we need to change that. To change it, click Sam. Here's the record here, the employee, the job, the task, and the times. To change the times, click the Edit button, which is the Pencil button. Now it's going to let me change the time. I'm going to click 2 o'clock and set it to 11 a.m. Click the set button and then click save. Now remember, when you click save after doing an edit, the office will be able to see that you clocked this employee in at 11 a.m., but it was actually at 2 p.m. when you did the clock in. So be careful, only use this when it's absolutely necessary. If the same problem happened for this Brent, I'll just click Brent, hit edit, and backdate his time as well. Click save when you're ready. And once again, it's backdated his time and it's copied that as a record for the office that we did manually change his time. Now, what happens if we clocked in under Jones warranty, but it wasn't Jones warranty at all. We were actually on a different site or I made a mistake on the task. I don't have to delete this whole record. I can actually just switch it. To switch a job or a task, click the magnifying glass button. Here it says we were working on Jones mulching from 2 p.m. to 2.10 p.m. To switch this job, there's a switch button down here. It looks like two arrows crossing each other. Click the switch button. Now it says switch it to which job? Well, let's say we were still at Jones mulching, but I was working on a different task. So what task was I working on? It was mulching, it wasn't warranty. So I'll click mulching and I'll hit next. So it says the old task was Jones mulching warranty. The new task was Jones mulching mulching. If you're happy with this, click next. Click save when you're done. And you'll see that now Sam Adams there has switched to Jones mulching on the mulching task. Next up, let's look at how to track billable hours or activities. 
We saw when we clocked in under this job, Acme Hall, in an earlier video, that it brought up a screen that looked like this. If you get a screen when you clock out that looks like this, it means your office is trying to track certain activities, maybe to be billed or maybe just for client information. Here we have three activities, fertilization, mulch, and quality inspection. Every time I clock out of this task, it's gonna bring this screen up to see if we did any one of these tasks. If we just did the quality inspection, then I've got it set up perfectly. All we need to do is just touch that with our fingers, save, and it logs that we did a quality inspection. If we also did a fertilization app, the office will wanna know that so that we can build a client. To tell the office we did a fertilization app, just simply click the fertilization app and it'll select that on. Now there's one more type of billable and that's where the office is gonna actually get us to turn it on and ask us the quantity. And I've set up mulch this way. So if we're doing mulch installed and we're billing this client by the yard, the office wants to know how many yards we installed. So click mulch installed by the yard. Now you can see here the office is set up to prompt it for quantity. So I'm gonna change this quantity to seven and a half. Let's say we installed seven and a half yards of mulch. When this is set up correctly, just click the save button. And now the office will see that we did a quality inspection on that date. We installed seven and a half yards of mulch and we did a fertilization app. And then they can build a customer accordingly. Some of the other advanced features of timesheets that we didn't show in the other video include how to delete a timesheet. What if, for example, you've made a mistake? You started two timesheets on a day and you want to get rid of one that you didn't use. Just click the timesheet you want to delete to open it. When the timesheet loads, there's a trash can icon here. Click the trash can and it'll ask you, are you sure you wish to delete? Now be careful with this. Once you delete it, it's gone. You'll have to recreate everything from scratch if it was a mistake. But if you're sure you want to delete it, click OK and it's going to delete this timesheet permanently. Now it's gone. And those are the advanced tasks of the LMN Time timesheet application. That's it. 15 minutes of training and you're up and running.